Here's a project that I've been working on that I'd like to show you. It's a minimalist wallet design that is easy to create along with a multi-tool card which fits inside. The basic goal was to make the whole thing as useful and as small as possible. The wallet has a fairly standard minimalist design with a single piece of elastic fabric which sandwiches the contents together between two 3D printed plates and keeps them held under tension. The main component required for the base wallet design other than the 3D printed front and back is one and a quarter inch or 32 millimeter wide flat elastic which is about 20 centimeters or just under 8 inches long. It's often used by textile designers and is very inexpensive. The elastic itself is sewn onto the rear 3D printed plate which is easy to do by using the little holes as a guide. You just repeatedly go through the holes with a needle and thread and then tie them off. You then fold the elastic back over itself to hide the stitching at the back, leaving it with a nice simple aesthetic. Some people might want to carry a key with them, so I made a couple versions of the front plate as a key holder, where underneath the elastic is a space for one key. I tested a few blank key designs and carried them for a few weeks. It all worked surprisingly well and everything remained securely in place. There are tons of key shapes out there, so it's probably easiest to add your own to the base design. I found that designing for a specific shape as opposed to a generic one is best as it stops any movement and rattling. I decided to update my multi-tool and this time I've crammed a lot more items into the small space and now basically always carrying almost every little type of computer accessory that I might use on a semi-regular basis. First are the standard micro SD card slots. There are two slots but both can fit two cards in if needed. There's also a micro SD to full size SD card adapter and a micro SD USB adapter which both can carry a card each meaning there's a total space for six cards. There are two USB on the go adapters included, one for micro USB and one for USB-C. You can stick these in the end of full size USB-A plugs to attach peripherals to devices. I've also included a SIM ejection tool too. Again, there's enough room to carry two of these. I designed a simple charging adapter using a two millimeter thick PCB. When inserted into a standard USB-A size mail plug, it removes the data pins, meaning only power can get through. This could be handy at airports or other public places where you need some juice, but don't want to plug your device into an unknown USB power source. What really takes this multi-tool to the next level though is its modularity. Since all these little accessories are half size USB, they can be doubled up for even more compatibility. The two little 3D printed braces simply push and hold the components together. So for example, the micro SD USB adapter also works for micro USB and USB-C. Same with the power PCB, allowing you to plug all this stuff into a bunch of different types of devices without needing loads of separate cables. There are two versions of the multi-tool design, including a variation which has ridges along the edge, so when it's printed in white it kind of looks like extra cards inside the wallet. One extra component that didn't end up making the cut was this tiny USB hub. It's based on the famous FE1.1S USB hub chip and I realised I could sink the components into a 2mm thick PCB to create a super thin hub. You don't even need any extra port components, you just attach everything directly onto the board. Although it's cool, after playing with it I realised this design choice of having the components exposed makes it extremely finicky unable to hold up to long term use. I have some ideas how it could be reworked so maybe that will be for a future update. The source file links are in the description if you want to make your own. Another random thing I figured out is the thinnest way to block RFID signals on cards is to cut down those plastic foil blocking wallets so they are credit card size. You just put one either side of one or multiple cards and it should work fine. I tested it on my RFID reader and it does the job in a way smaller size than anything else out there. In theory the wallet design should work for a range of materials from your standard PLA and ABS to SLS. Laser cut plastic might work as well as laser cut metal sheets which will provide extra rigidity and RFID blocking built in. Sometimes my prints have had slightly variant accuracy, especially with the multi-tool component fit with particular print settings and filaments. So I've included the original SVG file for the components so you can tweak and customize depending on your setup. Alright, that's everything. Thanks for watching. See ya.